Mr. Melvin Young. Sir, currently most major social media services require users to be at least 13 years old to register for an account. Users have to declare their birth date at the point of registration. As false declarations may be made, some social media services have made efforts to develop technologies, including a combination of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and facial recognition algorithms for proactive detection and the removal of accounts held by underage users, or acting on user reports against such accounts by suspending them. Age verification to a high degree of certainty is technically difficult and the technology continues to evolve. There are concerns over data protection, especially regarding children's data. Balancing data protection concerns with effective and reliable age verification methods is challenging and global standards have not yet been set. The Ministry of Communications and Information has frequent engagements with our international counterparts on issues related to online safety, especially for young users. We will be introducing measures, including a proposed code of practice for online safety. The code will require social media services with significant reach or impact to put in place systems and processes to mitigate exposure to harmful content for users in Singapore, with additional safeguards for young users. We will continue to monitor global developments as well as consult extensively including on the issue of age verification as we consider additional measures where viable and appropriate. We also encourage parents to take an active role in engaging and guiding their children on the appropriate age to use social media. Parents may tap on useful resources such as those produced by the Media Literacy Council that promote safe and responsible online behavior, including a social media guide, What is the Right Age for My Child?, which provides tips on, for parents on when to let their child use social media. Thank you. Mr. Melvin Young. So I thank the SMS for his reply. I have one supplementary question. I think as uh, SMS has pointed out, parents are the first influencers for our children and can significantly affect the way their children's attitudes towards all these social media platforms form. So I'd like to ask if IMDA can explore creating uh, parent-specific social media literacy programs to train them on how to help their child navigate uh, the various social media platforms. I'm, I'm certain this will help parents uh, equip them with the necessary knowledge, skills and tools uh, to mitigate any potential harm that these social media uh, may pose to our children. Dr. Jana Puducherry. So I thank uh, Mr. Yong for his question and for his suggestion, which, which is a good one. We, we are doing uh, such things. Um, there is a broader question of how to support parents um, and help them be that right guide, the right set of first influences uh, for their children. There's a few things that we're doing. Um, the first is a requirement that internet service providers are required when they offer residential and uh, services to offer residential and mobile internet filtering services to help parents ensure that children have safe access to the internet. Um, we have several initiatives to provide resources and support to parents. I described one in my um, original answer. Um, NLB also um, organizes uh, Sure Celebrates Media and Information Literacy events uh, in October. Um, this provides uh, Singaporeans with skills, uh, how to be discerning when using online information sources. And it also includes programs targeting children, such as the Sure for School. Uh, MOE also works with parents, not just with the children, but MOE also works with parents to provide online resources, uh, parenting kits and articles to give them the skills, knowledge and tools to be able to help guide their children and better manage their children's online habits.